I'm standing by. Enemy UAV is airborne. <laughs> Hello my friends, this is Splish, I hope you're having a great day and that you're gonna enjoy this Call of Duty 4 video. Just me saying Call of Duty 4 gives me the shivers a bit, a really good shiver if I may say so, because this is one of the best Call of Duty games ever made, maybe the best. Of course I would like to hear your opinions as always in the comments if you have the time to make one, so I appreciate that, but for me, this is not only really where it started, because I started to play Modern Warfare 2 2009 before this game, but I went back and played this also. It was still in its partly prime, you would say, at that point of time. And if we're talking years, we have to go back all the way to 2007. You see, that's when this game was released. And if you start to count, you just realize that it's almost 17 years old, just by saying that, which is kind of amazing. But it does not feel that old. I have to say, getting back to it again was just amazing. The game plays really, really well. It's so smooth. The whole kind of system when it comes to the perks, you know, the good old perks. And of course, also the weapons that I just mentioned a bit. I said sniper and I'm sniping here with the M40, the classic. It's so great. It's so great. I honestly feel that I get better hit detection and overall like performance to be honest sometimes with this game more than the newly released modern warfare 2 and we're getting back to that a bit later but yeah it was really fun and also to see which i kind of knew because i was back in cod 4 also last year asking the question how the game was doing in 2022 and i wanted to start off here in 2023 and also check out how the game is doing right now not so much talking about details such as player count and such i can just say that at least from my perspective being a pc gamer there is enough people playing definitely you will be able to find servers and everything which is just sweet i don't know so much about the situation when it comes to uh, console though and uh, if you ever played the campaign, you also know that the single player here is uh, as epic as the multiplayer in many ways. So don't miss that out if you are into maybe getting Call of Duty 4 now in 2023. If you get inspired to play this game, if you haven't done that before, I highly recommend you to do so. It, it, it's one of those games that I believe uh, if you're an FPS gamer and if you want to make sure that you have kind of experienced the most important moments in the game in history, then I think that COD 4 is definitely one of those games that you should play. I therefore also made a video recently when it comes to getting into another of my favorite CODs when it comes to the older games, which is uh, Call of Duty World at War. And of course, I'm putting up a card, so if you want to check that out later, you can do that. It's also worth playing. Uh, again, especially if you are playing on PC, I know that there is definitely players also in that game. I guess it shows that these games are still viable in the years of 2022-2023 because not only veterans like me like to go back you know and have some nostalgia but also experience really good games i can also see and from comments on earlier videos has mentioned that you know there are new players younger generations that also are experiencing these games and maybe just maybe that also tells us that some players and some players are bored or they don't really like what they get nowadays and i'm now talking of course about the newer call of duty games I can be straight honest with you and say that I stopped like being a guy that plays a lot of Call of Duty after Black Ops 3. Yes, I have still been making videos, I have still been playing the games. I'm fortunate also to get the games from Activision Nordic and I say thank you for that, I really appreciate it. However, my time when it comes to really really enjoying the games the most uh, kind of stopped partly after Black Ops 3. You see, I like that game. I know that it was a bit controversial when it comes to, you know, we're getting into the, uh, like, future a bit with, like, uh, jetpacks and, and running on walls and shit like that. But I, I thought that game was good. I like Black Ops 3. But after that, things, in my opinion, in my book, when it comes to the whole franchise of Call of Duty, went a bit downwards. I was talking also when I made the video regarding World at War, if you want to check it out, that I do believe, especially also getting back to these older games, that the focus when it comes to being the developers and what they are, you know, prioritizing, if we put it like that, nowadays it feels that it's not only um, the actual game, meaning what you're experiencing as a gamer, 
Uh, thinking about the gamer's perspective, if that makes sense. It's so much more about all these models also that we have been talking about before regarding microtransactions and ways to earn more money, all the camo aspect, everything. This was not the first thing you thought of when you were playing a game such as COD 4 in this case. Uh, this is still from the time when the games felt really well optimized. Sure, I mean, the releases weren't perfect back then either, but it was a whole other experience of the whole package of the game and I had much much less complaints back then than I have today compared to what I have experienced the last few years when it comes to the recent Call of Duty releases and it just makes me wonder especially since some of these companies i mean uh, activision is a publisher and you have then like uh, well if we're talking about cod 4 uh, we are talking about infinity ward and then of course you have i mentioned the black ops series well you have treyarch and there are others involved as well but uh, what i'm trying to say is that they have done this for a very very long time uh, i am thinking at least from a developer perspective that he would have some kind of blueprint some kind of ways of keeping track of okay let's see this is the checklist we know we've done this before and this has to be implemented from the start in the game when it's going to be released if it's going to be good and everything but sometimes it just feels as if they're starting all over partly i mean if you have been reading like tweets or information from activision recently you may know that they are planning now when the uh, delayed season two uh, regarding the new Modern Warfare 2 will come that they will make changes which is of course good and some people say oh it's great finally they might listen into the community but I am gonna be a bit salty and say I don't think that's the case the case is that or the reality is that they are losing players there's a lot of people backing out from both Warzone 2.0 uh, and of course also the, uh, the respawn multiplayer so they have to do something you know and there will be changes. I think that's good. Hopefully there are some good ones. I haven't really been reading exactly what's what they will do. But you have to be cautious. And that's just what I'm most trying to say. If you've done it for so many years, don't you have a better know-how? What you should do and how you should uh, package the experience, the whole game before release. That's just my, my thoughts. And maybe you can feel in here as well. Uh, I'm just surprised uh, that it's still a th or, or that it is a thing overall because going now back again as mentioned you're watching COD 4 this is a 17 years old game and sure there was things also when this game was released but I think it also has to do with the overall I talked about it before also the simplicity you have a very straightforward perk system you don't have that many options and that goes also for the actual guns that you can choose from uh, the attachments so that of course also makes it a bit easier to balance when we're talking weapon balance and uh, those kind of features uh, in the game and uh, that is definitely a thing uh, but also the map design most of the maps in games such as world at war and also as here in cod 4 are really really good and uh, it's something I've, I've started to miss <laughs> there's definitely some maps that i like to play also when i'm playing like cold war or and in this case motor warfare 2 2022 but it's not the same it's not really the same and there are things again that i was just hoping that they would have learned and and uh, you know taken as an experience also hearing from the community because again some things has been said every year there's a new release of a call of duty game from the community and you start to wonder why didn't they learn if you come this far it's really good and i just wanted to say that i appreciate that you have been watching and listening to what i have to say and it also became a bit of a discussion when it comes to the whole fps scene mainly focusing on the uh, call of duty franchise when it comes to newer games and what they actually deliver for the money so with that said if you have some spare money i would highly recommend you to go back and play call of duty 4 and i would love to hear from you in the comments what you think or if you have played it back in the days ask me what do you think about it is this one of your favorite cards of all time let me know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching i appreciate your support if you're new consider to subscribe and of course if you enjoyed the video i would really appreciate if you could give the video a like it helps me out Thanks and bye.